Did I see the Metal Gear trailer? Yes, I saw the Metal Gear trailer. Man, I want to talk about my socks. Here you go, mother. But I did see the Metal Gear trailer. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Like the whole thing that Konami did there was say, what's the most marketable this series video game? That Don't say you like those graphics. That was a pre-rendered video game trailer. That was not a game engine. That was a pre-rendered trailer. That was not graphics. That was a movie. They rendered that with an animation engine, not game footage. That was nothing. That was not graphics in that trailer. I would put it up and watch it and just be unhappy. I guess I'm gonna have to go put it up and watch it and be unhappy. The problem is it's not even Metal Gear Solid 3, it's Metal Gear Solid Delta. It, it, it's Metal Gear Solid Delta, which it's because they're doing the same thing that they're doing with Silent Hill 2. Konami has not been consumer friendly for years. Konami ditched all of their major projects. They poured a ton of money into Pachinko only and left all of their wonderful franchises that I love to rot. Silent Hill is amazing. Castlevania is amazing. Metal Gear is amazing. And besides the treatment that they did to Kojima's team and him at during the production of Metal Gear Solid 5, they literally locked him in a room away from the rest of his team for six months. I, I, I went through a, a, thread, a thread of it on Twitter. Konami is a terrible company to its employees. And if they're making a new version of a video game that I've loved, I don't care if it doesn't have the person whose name on the box of all of the other games besides five because it was scrubbed afterwards in the complete edition. Every version of these games that are gonna be re-releasing does not have his name on the box because they, they, they were done. They put him on the board and then they treated him like shit during the development of Metal Gear Solid Five. Sure, yeah, he went and developed PT. Yeah, he did it under the radar and he released it without their permission, but like he was over the company. He. You can just make a decision to do that. Whatever ramifications that had, Konami was looking to get rid of Kojima for quite a long time. I, whatever way that they did it, they did it. Also, barred him legally. They threatened him legally that he could not show up to the Game Awards to receive an award for Metal Gear Solid V that won it. But unfortunately, he was warned by a lawyer representing Konami uh, just recently that he would not be allowed to uh, travel tonight's awards ceremony to uh, accept any awards. Jeff Keighley said live on the show, he could not be here because my, my sources have told me he has been legally barred from being here to receive the award. Konami, just wants money. Konami will remake Silent Hill 2 compared to anything else because it's only about the money. It's about the brand iconography. It is the most popular one of that series. That is where they start. They didn't do Silent Hill 1 again. They didn't do Silent Hill 3 again. They did 2. Only 2, specifically 2. And now Metal Gear Solid Delta snake eater whatever the delta is supposed to be if it's delta twin snakes and then following delta sons of liberty then that's just erasing the original continuity of kojima having these games destroying video game history uh that way it i think it's disgusting i think it is a travesty of justice i think that it's, it's the shittiest possible thing that they could have done if they said it was three and it was a remake that's one thing but this is maybe denoting that it's starting a brand new series from the earliest point and going to maybe reproduce every other game they didn't do good making metal gear survive the open world crafting zombie game that reviewed and sold poor that had a, a story that was <coughs> awful even by metal gear standards you can't trust konami with this game you can't trust konami with this game well watch the trailer and i'll get mad Burn Konami. Fuck Konami. People are excited for this. I get it. People are excited for this. But, like, they don't think to not buy the video game. Overwatch and Activision, people are still putting tons of money into that, despite the fact that, as I had pointed out, they literally killed a woman. EA and its terrible money schemes. I was talking about this the other day on stream. People don't think about this stuff. They, they just say video game good and buy it. Good graphics, best graphics, video game good. The thing I love, three, three, the critical 
darling of this series, the one everybody loves, the best one that everybody goes for is the one that gets remade first. It's the earliest point of the chronology, sure, but that just says you're remaking the timeline. They said today on Twitter that they're going to use all of the original voice assets and things like that. I don't believe that. I, they can't because they're going to they're going to keep all the story and the, and the stuff the same. Like, what? fine. They're only going to cut Kojima related stuff, probably references and shout outs. And that's going to suck. That's going to hurt. I could just play Metal Gear Solid 3 again. I didn't play the Dead Space remake. We live in a culture of remakes right now that is unhealthy. Call of Duty right now is Modern Warfare 2. Two. We'll play Metal Gear Solid 3. I didn't even watch the PlayStation Showcase because I knew it was going to have this as a reveal. They were hyping it up too much. It was. It had to come eventually. I am not interested. I gotta stick to my guns. Just because it looks good, and it's this a pre-rendered footage. It's not in game. Now, I am never going to shame somebody. I'm never, I'm never going to say, as I have feelings about a lot of video games right now and how they're made ethically. We live in a world of sequels. The, the most of the things we can make are remakes of other things or sequels to other things. Indie games bring such a bright spot, like into this life. Look, I'm playing Ultra Kill. That game <clears throat> rock. I hope it never gets a sequel. I'm not saying sequels entirely are bad. I'm not saying remakes entirely are bad. We have a culture of video games right now where it's nothing but that. We can't stop seeing it and funding it. And it sucks. We'll play Final Fantasy XIV now. It's 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 simply it's simply oversaturation. Here, I'll uh I'll go and sign into my video game over here and then we'll actually get playing.